Um, another thing I want to talk about is another topic, I should say, is joints. Who has, anyone has sore joints here? Okay, what's, what's wrong with your joints? Right. And what do you have pain in your knee? Okay. Um, you have a, a, a tracking problem in your knee. So you're getting rubbing in there and what's happening is the cartilage is wearing away. Well, it's interesting that you have this problem, but you know what? Everyone else here has the same problem. They just don't know it because when you go to the gym and you break down muscle tissue, you're also breaking down and rubbing away connective tissue in the joints. But if you're young, okay, you're not going to know that you're doing this. Okay? Now, the reason why we don't repair this connective tissue in the joints is a number of reasons. We don't eat cartilage, ligaments, or tendons in our diet. Okay? If you give a bone to your dog, or you give a piece of chicken to your dog, let's say you give a chicken breast to your dog, a full chicken breast, okay, on the bone and everything, the dog will eat everything, including the bone. Okay? And it will get tons of glucosamine and tons of sulfur and all the, all the great nutrients your body needs to repair joint and connective tissue. When we get out of the gym, we go eat a chicken breast. Perfectly carved off the bone, not a morsel of fat, not a morsel of connective tissue, tenderness, insertion, or anything attached to it. So we're only consuming protein. We're not consuming the raw material as we need of joints. Back in the days of poverty, in the 20s here, in the, people would make soups with, with chicken bones and with all, all kinds of weird concoctions they would make, and all the glucosamine that's on the bone would melt into the soup, and you would eat that, and you'd be actually giving your body the raw materials it needs. We don't do that in society anymore. We eat such clean food that we do no longer eat connective tissue. Because of this, our joints are not getting the raw materials they need to repair themselves. Now, scientists and doctors postulated that the reason why our joints don't repair themselves is because there's a very small, bl the blood supply is very low to them. And that, everyone believed that for a number of years. And then people started taking glucosamine supplements and they started realizing that we can regrow knee cartilage if we give people this stuff. So everyone started using these supplements back in the 90s. And, and you know what, I was one of those people and I noticed that I wasn't getting any relief. And most people, how many people here have bought a glucosamine supplement and have never finished the bottle? Yeah, there's a lot, yeah, a lot of you. I, I was one of those people too. And then I realized, I did a little research, and I realized that the dosages that they're telling you to take on the bottle, anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams a day, and that's high if they recommend that, won't do anything. That's analogous to me giving you a protein powder tub and saying, here you go, do a teaspoon of this every day and see how much muscle you put on. A teaspoon's not enough quantity. You need a high quantity of glucosamine, a high quontity of MSM, a high quantity of, of chondroitin every day to get an effect. As a matter of fact, you should be scooping it out of a tub like we do the protein. However, if any of you have ever tasted glucosamine, it tastes vile. It's disgusting. And I know this because I bought these little glucosamine tablets for my dogs to take. I have these little four pound dogs and they got bad hips, so I bought them these glucosamine tablets, and they wouldn't eat them, and they'll eat anything. You pull, it, you pull something out and say, treat, they come running. They looked at me like I was crazy, so I picked it up and I tasted it, and I realized this tastes like, this tastes like ass, you know, this is horrendous. And so I wound up having to get them chicken strips that were embedded with glucosamine, and now they eat them. So I realized that the reason why we take glucosamine pills is because they taste terrible, but that doesn't mean that, you know, that you should take a small amount. Through experimentation and, and some of the reading I did, I found that you need to take about a minimum of 4,000 milligrams of glucosamine a day, 4,000 milligrams of MSM per day, at least 1,000 chondroitin a day, and you should add some boron in there for good measure. When I started doing this on a regular basis, within two to three weeks, I noticed all my joint pain subsided, and I started feeling better. And that's when I created Arthrolyze. And if you notice, it's a very big bottle. The reason is you need to take a lot of this stuff. This is a, a month's supply, and if you take five pills twice a day, you will get 4,000 milligrams of glucosamine, 4,000 milligrams of MSM, 1,000 milligrams of chondroitin a day, and, and eight, uh, six milligrams of boron per day. And I guarantee every person who started using this within two to three weeks has called me up or emailed me and said, you were right. Uh, don't wait till your joints start hurting. This is... Instead of the glutamine supplement that you're wasting your money on, buy a good joint connective tissue supplement and make sure you take enough of the stuff. If you don't use the minimum threshold amount, it's not going to work. Adela Garcia, who's a six-time fitness Olympia champion now, 
tore up her knee about three years ago. And, and she, you know, when people, when people hurt themselves, they become desperate. So she called me up out of desperation because she knew that I, I, I was a big advocator of, of, of and I had a, a joint replacement supplement, repair supplement. And I explained just what I explained to you guys to her. I sent her about four bottles of the stuff, and you know what? She's still using it to this day. She said the doctor could not believe how fast her injury healed itself up once after her surgery. So, guys, trust me when I tell you, I don't give advice out that, that's, that's aimless. This stuff works. And it's not that there's anything special in here. It's dose-related. Make sure you take enough of the stuff. Guys, okay, do you have any questions from anything I talked about? Yes, Frank. I don't, I don't know if I'm a fan. Ask Rob at, at, at the desk. I'm not really sure what the cost is. But if you figure it out, what you would cost for one model, if you had to go to the health food store and buy different bottles with all these separate stuff, it's, it's infinitely cheaper. It's a lot cheaper.